Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Candace. Thank you so much for joining me today. And on this video, I'm going to show you how I got this brick-like look for around a hundred dollars. I am so happy with the way that it turned out. It brought so much warmth and dimension into my space, which is just what I wanted. If you have a room or a wall that needs a little bit of pizzazz, go ahead and keep on watching it. I'll show you how I got this look. The first step in this project is measuring out your initial level line. I use my mantle as a guide for this. I took my measurement from the blue tape to the floor and I used that measurement to continue with my guide on each side. So go ahead and repeat this process each side. I had a four by four flooring sample that I used as my brick hike template. I used this template for my entire project and let me tell you it made it so easy for me to mark and tape my rows. Be sure not to get too far ahead of yourself and pre-measure the rows. Just take your time and measure row by row. Every time you tape, measure again. This helps with consistency in your brick size and it just really makes everything nice and even. Be sure you're pressing down really hard on your tape because you don't want any of the putty later to get underneath the tape. This tape line is actually acting as the mortar for our project. So I cannot lie to you, this project is taking me quite a few hours to just get the tape on. So um, you are definitely gonna need some time set aside for this project. The higher I got, um, the sweatier my hands got, and I had to ask my husband to complete the rows higher than this. I just, I could not get the tape to stick with my sweaty hands. Once you have all the horizontal lines taped up, it is now time to add your vertical lines. I chose to go with a stone-like look, um, but you could definitely go ahead and measure out each and every different brick if you want a more brick-like feel, but I wanted a variegated pattern. First, it was just easier for me to go ahead and do it this way, but I think it turned out really well. I was already excited by just the way that the tape looked. I mean, look at how cool that looks. I was fine just leaving that up. But the show must go on, so I'm going to go ahead and put some putty down, and I'm just getting a nice thick layer inside of each of my bricks here. And then I'm sort of ruffling up over the top because I want it to be a very um, stone-like look, so I don't want everything to be really nice and precise. I want to have all those dips and grooves into each one of my bricks. It gave it so much character, and I really liked how this turned out. So I was working a few rows at a time and once my first rows that I did were getting sort of dry, I would go ahead and start peeling back the tape. I did not want my tape to dry underneath all that mortar because I had a hard time getting it out once it started to set. So just make sure that you're working in little sections at a time getting that tape up. If you have any putty that's sort of falling into the grout line, just very carefully push it back away from that center line and it will just look like this. I mean, look at how cool it looks. So I got some primer, tinted primer, and go ahead, and I went ahead and I painted the entire surface. And now I'm just taking the brown color. You can go with any color you want here. I chose brown and just filled in my squares. I tried to avoid my grout lines. I wanted them to be different. So I loved the way it looked on this picture, but I really did not like the way it felt in my room. So I went ahead and took that tinted primer and just sort of whitewashed the entire surface of my wall here. It gave me the look that I wanted. Wait till you see this finished product. Now this made my house feel so warm and cozy and I'm just so ecstatic with the way that it turned out. You guys, if you attempt this project, this is not only just simply gorgeous, it is an art piece that you did with your own hands. It is unlike anything I have ever done before and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you see, it's a different mantle. My husband was like, babe, I'm gonna make you a new mantle. So he made a mantle for me and it just added that extra bit of wow. I am so happy with it.